Welcome back to Nashville Early Bronco live at Bronco Super Celebration in Townsend, Tennessee. This is the 12th annual Early Bronco. We got a group here. What up, guys? Yeah! Man, this is an awesome event. If you have not heard me talking about it, then you definitely are not watching the channel. But Man, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe. I'm putting out how-to videos for the Weekend Mechanic and doing the Bronco Entertainment for the Bronco community. This is fantastic. We are here at in Townsend, Tennessee for the Bronco Super Celebration. And the event organizer is behind my Bronco right now as we speak. This guy is fantastic. Tom is uh, has organized this event. He is the, uh, I don't know, publisher of Bronco Driver. Everyone give him a round of applause. I, I'm, the Bronco, I'm the Bronco ambassador. I just set the date, open the gate, but you are the Bronco people. It is awesome. Tom, how many Broncos do we have so far? Do you know? Well, we're well over 400, and uh, that's on a Friday. So what's coming tomorrow, we'll, we'll see. Oh, man, 400 Broncos already. And we are only on Friday. But, the, you know, the West Coast told me we could never get 200 Broncos together on the East Coast. Uh, I don't even get calls from those guys anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's true. Speaking of West Coast, we got uh, wild horses back here behind us. You don't have to turn around and look at them yet because it's just the back of their tent. Um, but, you know, West Coast out there, we got Tom's Bronco parts over here. We've got Max Slider, Bronco Design, James Duff Broncos over here. Mr. F the Ford Horseman himself, Michael Duff, is over here. Look at this guy. Give it up for Michael. Yeah! Everyone uh, did a little drive last night over to Michael, or over to James Duff, uh, where uh, Michael is, uh, you know, doing his thing. How was that? Excellent. Nice man of many words, Mr. <laughs> Michael Duff. Now, I heard that uh, you're looking for your Bronco. Yeah. That's, that. you heard it right here, folks. That was a yeah. That was a solid yeah. Uh, I don't, yeah. What? Yeah? Rex says, rawr. Yeah. So there you go. Michael's looking for his Bronco. If you guys have found it, you definitely uh, need to let him know. Now, I wanted to do a, a an opening here uh, that is unique to this event. You know, this is the kind of opening that only we can do at this kind of event. And uh, if you'll follow me over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a round of applause with our Broncos. I know, it sounds, it sounds strange. Hey, I don't know if you noticed, but Nash made it. Uh, we got here, vapor lock and all, uh, and we are here. But I'm gonna, I wanna just do a little round of applause with everyone's Bronco uh, who will be joining us today. Are you guys ready? Ready? Here we go. Ready? A little round of applause, everyone, for the Broncos who are here. 
We have some beautiful Broncos coming in today. We're going to be showing them on the channel, just kind of walking through, talking to people about their Bronco, talking about what they've done to their Bronco, where they're from, all that kind of good stuff. And hey, if you're watching this at home, I want you to comment below. Where are you from? Where are you watching from? And seriously, why aren't you here? Tell me. I mean, there's no excuse. Like, there are so many Broncos. All, all these people keep being like, yeah, my Bronco's not done yet. I'm like, so? Either is mine. It's, it, look it, it's here. It's beautiful. All right, so we're going to be looking at this one uh, first here, this beautiful, beautiful Bronx, uh, Bronco. We have, um, find my card. All right, so this is Ricky and Angie Muirhead. This is their 77 pink Bronco. I don't know, when was the last time anyone saw a pink Bronco? Well, you're looking at it right now, obviously. Come on, people, give me a little break. But this is incredible. Like, who is driving a pink Bronco? It takes, it takes, it takes some, uh, some guts to drive a pink Bronco. But we're talking to Ricky and Angie, and they were saying that uh, their friend Sammy Williams uh, built this Bronco for his teenage daughter, and as he was building it, his wife ended up getting breast cancer. And uh, so he painted it pink in honor of his wife, and this is now the, you know, breast cancer Bronco. And uh, recently just sold it to uh, Ricky and Angie, and they've had it just for a little bit. It is a Ford 302 C4 transmission. Um, but very nice, very clean Bronco, uh, and uh, just a, you know, I, I mean, pink Bronco, come on, that's pretty, that's pretty unique. So um, we are going to be uh, talking to and looking at all kinds of other Broncos today. Uh, looking back here, we have uh, Rob and Sheila Fawner's Bronco, we have Taylor Hill's Bronco back there, we have Rob Matthews, and then there's a little secret there at the end. The, the, uh, the game warden is coming out uh, and that Bronco will be coming out. So uh, we're gonna come out here, come out here, uh, James. Let's walk, wait, where are you going? Where are you going? Come here, come here, right here, yep. Yeah, yeah. So this is- uh, Mike. Mike, your Carlson, right? That's correct. <laughs> that's, that's right, it's a, it's a close knit family here in uh, Super Celebration. Um, Mike, you have a, a 90s Bronco, right? I do, 1990. 1990, what do you think about this event, man? Uh, first time coming, not too many full sizes, but they are here if you've got one. Bring more. Yeah, bring more. If you guys have a full size Bronco, you should be at this event. I know the channel's Nashville Early Bronco, but seriously, you should be at this event. Am I right? You were right, sir. See? He, he says so. Let's go. Full size Broncos. What's uh, what's been your favorite part so far? Uh, it would be the right up the mountain. Which one was that? Which mountain? That was. I don't remember which one it was. Tail of the dragon. No, not the oh, tail. Not the tail. I did the tail. That was awesome. That sounds horrible. You're a braver man than I am. Yes. All right. Yeah. The drives are amazing. How many drives have we done so far? Six, seven drives, four. Yeah, four. That was exactly what I said. <laughs> All right, um, so yeah, we've done like four drives so far. It's been super fun. We've had a lot of fun uh, being here. And um, we have, there are more drives going on. My favorite part tomorrow, what we do, we have the giveaways. There's so many vendors that come and bring just incredible products and uh, just have so much, so much to give away. And uh, people win a bunch of free stuff. I've never won anything free, but other people seem to win. So I hope you guys enjoy that, um, free products. But over here, we have Mr. Taylor Hill. What's, up, What's going on, dude? Good to meet you, man. How you doing? In person, doing well, doing very well. Doing good, good, good. So you, this is your 74, correct? 75. Dad's got 75. A, Dad's got a 74. Very nice, very nice. And what, uh, tell, tell us a little bit about what you've done. What are, what are some of the uh, upgrades, mods? How was it when you first bought it? 
I, it was uh, it was pretty good shape. Um, the only thing that is original from when I got it is still the paint, the engine, and the train. So the drivetrain is still the same. Um, interior is completely different. Wheels, roof rack was custom made. Sound bar inside was custom made. Seats. All the interior has been stripped and changed. Nice. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the engine. What engine do you have in here? It's stock, man. Stock yeah. 302, 1975. Yep, yeah. yep, that's, I, I feel your pain. Restrictions and everything. Yeah, 125 <laughs> horsepower from the factory on that one. Going strong, man. Yeah, <laughs> I hear you. And then, uh, what else, you said custom made stuff. What custom yep. stuff have you done? So, from your, uh, from your welding video, kind of, <laughs> kind of put me to the, to mood to, uh, try my hand up welding. So I figured go big or go home, so I figured I'd start with stainless and then do metal, <laughs> right? So uh, the first thing I did was I, uh, I custom made that stainless sound bar in there because I like my music, man. And you know, in these things, you can't listen to anything, uh, road noise and all that stuff. I'm gonna come over here. Yep, yep. So anyways, yeah, got the sound bar made, did that. And uh, anyways, could not find a roof rack uh, that I liked and uh, that went well. I was like, why not? Let's go. So. Uh, while I was doing it, kind of funny story, while I was doing it, uh, a buddy of mine was like, hey man, this looks really good, maybe you should sell them. After two months of grinding and welding, I was like, never in my life will I do this again. I feel your pain. <laughs> no. I don't, I don't know what it is. Like, I know, there's a lot of guys out here who welding is their specialty for uh, the normal human being, right. that is not right. the case. Right. Uh, the grinder is your friend. The grinder's not my friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, talk to me a little bit about what you've done in here. So when uh, when I got it, um, it was this. Let's see here. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but it was a green all drab paint. And anyways, stripped everything out. Uh, no, not a whole lot of rust, rust on the interior. What was there? I, I fixed that. All that stuff. Um, I have four layers of soundproof and insulation from the, from the bottom. I don't like road noise. So uh, anyways, yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, roll cage, put the roll cage in, Tons Broncos, you know, seats, all that stuff. Uh, change the steering wheel, oh. put me a horn in. And, uh, you can't, that is incredible. You, you cannot have a Bronco and have an eh horn, all right? It's <laughs> illegal. I've checked it, it's illegal. So, that is yeah. amazing. But, uh, and then what have you done suspension wise? How was it stock? Sus uh, yeah. So it's got a three and a, uh, three and a half inch suspension lift, um, body lift, there's no body lift. Uh, just put 33s on there and uh, just rocking it, man. That's awesome. It looks really, really nice. I like the stance. And uh, you said 33s on there. And what are your what size are your rims? They're 17s. Nice, nice. That looks really good. So through all of this uh, beautifulness, what was the most challenging part? Would you say? The roof rack. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just so long, so long, so yeah. many hours. Yeah. Definitely the the welding, the the pain, the uh, painstaking. A buddy of mine asked me how much would you charge for that? Five thousand dollars, <laughs> just so no one will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, favorite upgrade. What what's the favorite thing that you've done? Man, probably just I don't know the whole thing because I've made it my Bronco. Yeah. You know, I, I see all these different designs out here, and everyone does their own thing because it's their Bronco. That's just what I want. I want to do what I want to do. I didn't care what anyone else was doing. Just make it mine. Yeah. What, what was what was some of the the inspiration that you got? Like where were what were you doing? Where'd you go? What was the inspiration? Uh, so I was uh, sold a '68 Mustang, and was had a ton of cash. I'm like, oh, what do I do with this? And I was gonna buy a Jeep. I know. Don't say those words <laughs> around here. And uh, anyways, if it wasn't for my dad, which is in this blue shirt over here. He's the original owner of a 74. Mm. And uh, so anyways, I was like, oh, let's do a Bronco. Yeah. And never looked back. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I, I uh, don't relate at all. I have three kids and a wife, so there's <laughs> never a stack of cash where I go, hey, what should I do with this right. money? Daddy. It's always, uh, hey, make more money so that we have something to do with it. Um, yep. Yep. But uh, yeah, that's awesome. So Broncos are in the family. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Well, your dad has one. How's, how's that? work in progress <laughs> <laughs> nice i think everyone's bronco is a work in progress right it's like i was telling the guy here uh you know if you ever get done doing something with the bronco that's a sad day because then you can't go in the shop and bust knuckles and just have a good old time you know that's so true it's so true and i think my favorite part is getting in the garage doing the work doing the like doing stuff on it like yeah, yeah absolutely it, 
Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, favorite adventure? Like, what would you say? What's What's been the, the thing that has been uh, one of the favorites? So, not in this one, but my dad's 74, back when we had it up and running. Uh, <laughs> our neighbor called us, said, hey man, I need, you, I need you to come with a Bronco. I'm like, all right, well, what's going on, man? Well, my tractor's in the lake. It's like, what do you do about that, right? So, uh, anyways, yeah, he had submerged his tractor halfway in the lake, had to go pull him out. So that was fun. <laughs> that is amazing. So, like, I mean, my story, uh, not a tractor in the lake, but I had a Jeep Cherokee uh, growing up, and I had a buddy who had his Bronco, and we would always be like, it was always like, oh, let's go mudding, yeah, that'd be awesome. And then it was just him pulling me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, like, these things are just made for uh off-road made for pulling made for just helping jeeps get unstuck that's right that's right i saw a t-shirt earlier today i gotta order that for my dad but uh we were we were up in the forest and dad was kind of putting around like dad come on let's go so we're going down this dirt road and he's like all right we'll go 80 miles an hour i'm like okay no we're cool we're <laughs> tone it down dude yeah <laughs> That's so, awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, man, Taylor, thank you so much. It's so good to meet you. Appreciate you, man. And uh, glad you were here. Absolutely. This thing is beautiful. Let's hear it fire up. And uh, it's always it's always nice. It's the Bronco sound. You got to shoot that. It takes a second. Oh, the pressure's on. Very nice. Very nice. Well, guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching the YouTube Live as uh, Bob and Sheila pull up in their beautiful uh, 90s Bronco. Just want to tell you a little bit about me. Uh, I know a lot of you guys watch the channel, but um, I, you know, I, when I first bought, I had, I didn't buy Nash first. I know it's shocking. I had a 1966 Bronco at first. And uh, when I bought it, I didn't really know what to do. I didn't know what, uh, you know, I needed to work on. And I had worked on cars all my life. Uh, my dad and I had always worked on uh, our cars and done all of the maintenance and that kind of thing. And when we bought, when I bought my first Bronco, I didn't really know what to do. And, I, and so I was always working on the cosmetics and the things that just didn't matter for getting your Bronco running and driving. Um, and man i you know looking back i wish i would have focused on different things and so when i bought nash and i started working on uh, my 1975 bronco i really started focusing on the things that was going to get it driving and running better um, and that's when i realized how many other people are out there who are just working on the wrong things they're doing the wrong things to their bronco and not focusing on the things that really matter for right now you know i always think about matt uh from matt's garage great little youtube channel uh that he has um and uh, matt and i are super good friends and uh matt has completely torn down his bronco and he was texting me the other day and he was like i can't believe you get to drive your bronco to an event and it's so true it's like I get the opportunity to come to these events uh, and to take my Bronco and even as it's having vapor lock on the way down, it's still, it's like, it's so fun to take my Bronco to these events. Um, and you know, it's, it's really just about not wasting time in the garage and not wasting money. And that's what I am hoping that I get to do with my YouTube channel, but also with what you guys have heard me talk about the better Bronco challenge. If you haven't heard about the better Bronco challenge, go to betterbronco.com right now and sign up for the better Bronco challenge. It is 26, uh, videos. It's three, uh, sections where I walk through, uh, uh, every piece of how to get your Bronco running and driving better um, and you know it's it's just some it's kind of a labor of love that I've done uh, and I'm not putting it on YouTube because there's that part where it's like I don't know if you guys have ever uh, you know paid for a gym membership or run a marathon or anything like that but you've got um, you know whenever I, I love running half marathons and whenever I r run a half marathon like I've I bought it and I'm so you know Know, signed up to do it but I don't train for a half marathon unless I've signed up I, unless I've like you know put some skin in the game put some money in there so um, I'm making this a paid product now here's the cool part 
It's a paid product. It's a hundred dollars to to uh, to join, not to sign up, um, but to go through the video series. Um, but the cool thing is, is we've talked to uh, Tom's Bronco Parts, and we have talked to them about giving us some, you know, some kind of. Uh, little bonus for joining the Better Bronco Challenge. And so, I, you know, I was talking with them and I was like, hey, is there anything that you could do for the people who join and who sign up for the Better Bronco Challenge, who pay that $100 and join? And they came back with over $500 in deals and discounts. This is incredible. Like, I know that some of you guys are like, yeah, I might not need the video series, but I definitely need $500 in deals. Uh, Tom's Bronco Parts is giving us those deals. So here's what I'm going to do. If you go to betterbronco.com and put in your email address, I am going to send you a link to buy the Better Bronco Challenge. So just putting in your email address and subscribing, that is not uh, getting the link. But if you put in your email address and you subscribe, I'm going to send you the link later on tonight where you can buy the Better Bronco Challenge and get access to that $500 in deals, discounts. And that's not just Jake. Come here. This is Jake from Tom's Bronco Parts. This isn't just like, you know, $500 in parts that I don't think you'll use. This is $500 in pretty incredible stuff. Like we're talking about... 8% off of the suspension kit, $50 off the LED lights, $100 off the uh, disc brake, front disc brake uh, kit. Um, what else was there? $100 off power steering. Like, this is some pretty good stuff. Yeah, it's all important stuff that every person, as you own a Bronco, you realize, okay, power steering, disc brakes, things of that nature, the creature comforts that you're used to make your Bronco so much more enjoyable to drive. Yeah. Yeah. And I love my disc brakes. I love my power steering. We drove up to uh, Klingman's Dome last night and I, the LED lights were incredible. Like they're, you're just driving in pitch black. I mean, Klingman's Dome's like 6,000 feet up and I'm driving my Bronco and it's like, I can see perfectly. And the power steering yesterday on uh, the tail of the dragon, incredible. I'm telling you, this is good stuff. It's really good. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. I talked to a guy who had our LED lights and he said, I actually drive my Bronco in the dark now before no way. So. It's so true. It's so true. Well, Jake, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. If you guys go to betterbronco.com, you are going to uh, sign up to be alerted when those discounts are available. And now, I don't know if you guys see this. This is a beautiful Bronco right here. And uh, we are going to talk to Mr. Bob Fawner. Is that is that how you say it? Yep. Yeah. Fawner. I just wanted to clarify something. Maybe I I didn't hear right over there, but you said a four-letter word. Uh oh. Was it Jeep? <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> <laughs> it is true. Before I owned a Bronco, I owned a Jeep. Yeah, it was a very that. sad time in my life, and I was very depressed and drank a lot. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob. There, tell, tell me, tell me about this. This thing is beautiful, man. Uh, it's a '91. Uh, I'm the second owner of it. I bought it with eighty-five thousand. It was basically stock. Yeah. Wow. What have you? What? What have? I mean, there's a lot that you've done to this. You can tell. But talk through some of the the things that you've done to it. Yeah, uh, I stripped it down to bare metal. I painted the Vista blue, which is a Harley color. Uh, put the flares on it and the uh, flames. It's all a replica of a Super Duty truck. Nice. They never made a Super Duty Bronco. It's a, uh, I think it's got a, I stopped at 10 inches on the lift kit, so. 10 inches on the lift kit? Man, you've got to show that. That is incredible. And so how much suspension lift, how much body lift is that? No body lift. No body lift. That is amazing. And what size tires do you have? 39 and a half auto rocks. Ah, oh, it is beautiful. And what, I mean, even the step up, like, was that custom? Like, did you do that? Yep, that's all custom. I made my uh, ladder bars custom. I mean, I had to fabricate leaf springs on a cool spring setup on the frame, which they were on an angle. So, but it tracks great. Yeah. So you put, so on the front, you're, you're, you put those leaf springs up there? Yeah. It's all off of Super Duty. Wow. 2004 Super Duty. 
off a 2004 Super Duty. Man, this looks beautiful. Now you have a really cool story about uh, going out and uh, and taking this out. Tell us a little bit about it. Uh, after I got it done, uh, a lot of people seen it because it was in Louisville. There's a lot of sky high riders out there, and uh, they do the uh, monster truck jams. And I was in, invited to uh, be in the parade, so it was a it was a joy for me. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, I, I, like any time that people recognize what you've done and it's like hey come be a part of this do this be a part it, it's it is it's very rewarding it was uh 15 minutes of fame with four or five hours doing it <laughs> <laughs> absolutely so what is what was the most challenging thing as you were working on this that you came across i think trying to fabricate it to where it would look right without going overboard uh, at, at, when I first done it, I had 35s on it. And everybody said it looked like golf cart tires, but then I, I went. I had 42s, and they looked too big. So I, that's that's the look I was looking for. And then I redone the whole interior with the Harley Davis theme. So that's awesome. And like, what I love is that yeah, it definitely still feels like a Bronco, still looks like a Bronco, but then looks so so much bigger and more awesome i love it now what would you say to these other guys who are out there who are just getting their you know early 90s bronco what would you what would you recommend to them well i mean you build it for what you want it you know i mean a lot of people may not like the flames a lot of people may not like the leaf springs or, or the lift kit but i mean i built the truck for me i envisioned this when i bought it of what i was going to do and then I got everything done. It took about five years and ran out of money. But <laughs> started all over. And then after having the back surgery, I had to go with the mini me. So. That's awesome. Yeah, you got to show this the little mini me over here. The uh, Bronco golf, court, golf cart. This thing is amazing. Very replica. That's a real bench seat in the back or in the front. It's a real dash from a Bronco. It's a real back seat from a Bronco. That's awesome. A little go-kart action there. Make sure to take a look at that. Well, man, Bob, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for all that you do. Your Bronco is beautiful. And I know that you are the envy of a lot of the full-size guys. And, um, you know, just seeing this thing cruise around is pretty amazing. Uh, appreciate you being here. And look at this. He's rocking the Nashville early Bronco shirt right now. No Jeep. No <laughs> Jeep. <laughs> That's right. No Jeeps over here. But look at this. Man, we've got shirts for sale over at the booth. Uh, we are having a good time over here at the uh, Nashville early Bronco tent. And uh, man, Bob, thank you so much. All right. And we will see you later. Let's come over here. Let's uh, let's talk to uh, talk to some people as Bob and uh, Clan pulls out. Oh man, look at this. People are like literally turning and trying to walk away from me as I walk up to them to talk to them. Uh, and this guy's calmed way down. I mean, I can rise up. And <laughs> but uh, what's what's going on over here? How 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 are you? Good. Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? Dan. Where are you from? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yep. He's from Wisconsin. What's your excuse? Seriously, why aren't you out here right now enjoying this? Uh, well, uh, did you bring a Bronco? I did. What? Yeah. Where is it? I don't know why I asked where it was, like you're going to know. Uh, what year? 70. 1970. Yeah. And uh, how, what process in the restoration process? Where is it? Uh, they're never done. Amen. That is that is the truth. Yeah. What's been the, the best part about the event so far that you've enjoyed? It's just cool to see all the so many awesome Broncos in one place. Went on a few cool rides, and there's just so much to see around here. It's so true. Like you, uh, you know, I, I'll see a Bronco at home, and like I will like chase the person down and like flag them down and get out and like, hey, let's talk for an hour and a half. And then you walk around here and you're like, ooh, you know, you're like you're kind of starting, you're like, ooh, I like that, I like that, I like that. And then it's like, you, oh man, my brain hurts because there's so much awesomeness in here right now. Like, it's just, it's incredible. So, uh, well, thank you for being here. Is this family back here? 
These are two of my sons. This is Cameron and this is Keegan. Where is your Bronco, Keegan? Uh, I'm hoping to build one soon. Nice, very nice. Uh, that was a good answer. Where is your Bronco? It's a mini one at home. A mini one at home, like RC? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> RC yeah, yeah. Bronco. Speaking of RC Bronco, <laughs> what a segue. I could have planned that better. Uh, speaking of RC Bronco, here we have Patches, the beautiful Bronco of Mr. Rob Matthews, right? That's your name, right? Uh, it depends on who's asking. If you're asking, yes, that's yeah. right. That's right, that's right. Dude, I love this Bronco. Like, when, I don't know, there's something about how you have built this where it just... It screams, let's go for an adventure, let's go off-roading, let's go somewhere that is not the mall. Yeah. <laughs> it, it screams, I'm a matchbox truck, because I still look at it and go, man, that just looks like just like the one we get around here, we all trade them out. I'm like, it's just like a matchbox truck. That's so true. All right, so talk about um, what you've done to this, talk about uh, where you started and, and where you're at right now. Uh, let's see, so three years ago, we or four years, five years ago, <laughs> sorry, the time goes, uh, we brought a show truck and uh, and we didn't take it on some of the rides that were off-road. And we looked at each other and went, well, this sucks. We have to get, we have to build a truck that we can take off-road. So twist my arm, baby, we got to get another Bronco. So we were shopping at that show the following year. We still hadn't found one. And um, and we, we were actually looking at Rob's off-road. He had a truck here. He wanted 10 grand for it, but the body was a little rougher than it should have been, maybe in my opinion. Um, and actually our good friend, the guy that we purchased this from, back home, he, he's like, well, if you're gonna spend 10 grand, you need to come look at this truck. It was called Casper then, because it was in primer. Um, so it, it had uh, some sort of a lift on it, I don't even remember. And, and it was in good shape, mostly. You know how it got <laughs> its name, Patches. Uh -huh. It doesn't look as good as it really is, or you know, vice versa. Um, talked to him, drove the truck, sold, bought it. And then this has been, you know, a couple, three years in the, in the works to get it to this point. Wow. That's awesome. And is this, what year did you say it was? 73, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I, I, yeah they all they kind of run together. Yeah. Um, and is it a true U14? Uh, no. Yeah. It, it, it had a full cab. I've had several, and I've never had a half cab. Yeah. He, Gosh dang it, I'm getting a half cab. I'll never own another one. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's good to yeah. know. Good to know. Keep that in mind, everyone. Yep. Uh, now, what has been the your favorite adventure in this thing? So last fall, uh, we went to North and South Carolina to a tiny truck show. Um, we hold an adventure series in Uari. And uh, we do the tiny truck thing, and that's great. So we basically lived out of the truck for 11 days, and we covered just shy of a thousand miles. Wow, so. that is awesome. I mean, I'm telling you guys, adventures in your Bronco—they're the best. I mean, it's the best part of owning your Bronco is taking it for an adventure. Like, that's that's the best part. Now, the reason that uh, when the the young man over there said um, RC cars, and I said, "What a great transition," um, Rob does tiny trucks. We do tell tiny me, tell me a little bit about this tiny trucks. So we um, we are Tiny Trucks USA. Where's Chris? Right there. Oh, he's video. Oh, there he is. Oh. <laughs> that, guy, that guy right that guy. there with, with, with the gray hair and a camera. That's Chris of GCM Racing. Thanks. Emphasis <laughs> on the camera. <laughs> um, he machines uh, Tiny Truck scale model parts. So the most recent one that's applicable to this show is we have uh, officially licensed James Duff radius arms. The exact what? same arm that this rides on. We have a one tenth scale model now that uses the same front end, same radius arm setup, etc. Awesome. So he makes the parts, we distribute the parts in the United States for him. That is so, awesome. And and you guys have a website. Where where can people find more about tiny trucks? Tinytrucksusa.com. There you go. Yep. Look at this guy. I'm sure his picture's on there. Uh, if it's not, not I have a then few, I have a few truck to, pictures. There you go. Truck pictures <laughs> on there. Is Patches on there? No. no. No, Patches is, well, Patches is a tiny truck, but it's a one-to-one -one truck. Tiny trucks are, you know, you can hold them in your hand. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, this is, this is awesome. I, I really, like, this is, James, just walk around this thing. This is one of my favorite vehicles here, um, Broncos here, I guess they're just Broncos and uh, I love it 
it's a lot of fun uh just kind of checking these things out rob thank you so much for being here thank you for your time man i appreciate it glad glad you're here rob and i uh rob had us over for dinner last night incredible fish straight from florida that was live and oh good lord the ford horsemen have yeah they're circling this is they they're they're like hawks they just they just uh look at this guy all right all right oh, oh, over oh. Here? what's hey guys oh, hey. how's it how's it going over here look at this ford horseman I had a little bit of stage fright earlier. Oh. And that's why I was mad very few. I words. call BS. That's yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Let's see it. Okay. Not one to make a scene. Here you go. Here you go. Monster Garage Bronco. Front, back. Have you seen me? Hashtag get it back. That's right. Get it back. Monster Mike is looking for his Bronco. He's got to get it back. It's. Oh. I got some serious buyer's remorse. <laughs> What an idiot. Buyers? You mean seller's remorse? Yeah. Either, either I don't one. even know what I'm saying. I'm so serious. That's just, there's way too much seriousness going on here right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was one of the things that they were doing last night, talking about, if you haven't watched uh, James Duff YouTube, um, Monster Mike is looking for his Bronco. So, hashtag. Get it back. Get it back. Hashtag, get it back. Yeah. Oh, Yeah. So definite, oh, yeah. I, just for all you people out there who don't think this is the real oh, yeah. deal, it is. Yeah. I'm looking for it. And if you got a lead, I want to know. So call me. Use that hashtag, get Round it back. Job. Yep. Hopefully there's nothing else on that hashtag, get it back. No. <laughs> hey, we're, we're drunk. Did you bring any shrimp burgers for me? Oh, I didn't. Those, ah, oh, big shakes. Tell me. Those things are delicious. I actually had wow. one, though, before we left. <laughs> How delicious are they? Ah, oh, uh, can't say, but definitely top things that I've put in my mouth. I want to hear about it. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious. Delicious. Big shakes, shrimp burger. De definitely delicious. Am I right, people? Yeah! That's right. That guy's winning a shirt for sure. I love him. Look at that beard back there. Just all bearded and beautiful. His all right. Beard has a beard. His beard has a beard. Hey, I'm gonna bow out. All right, dude. Thank you. Good. Yeah, yeah. It, it made it some vapor lock. Yeah, we talk <laughs> yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk. All right. So coming up next, showing this bad boy is the. This thing is beautiful. Oh my gosh. One more time before we talk to uh, the game warden. If you guys haven't yet uh, signed up for the Better Bronco Challenge, go to betterbronco.com. Later tonight, I will be releasing the link where you can buy the Better Bronco Challenge and get access to those incredible parts uh, and deals that Tom's Bronco Parts has. Uh, the Better Bronco Challenge, it's not just, uh, you know, things that I've, um, you know, made mistakes on and stuff like that. The Better Bronco Challenge, I need to read this to you because it's important, hold on. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. So the Better Bronco Challenge is 26 videos. It's probably gonna take you about six weeks to go through all the video content. Not, not the video content part, like I didn't film six weeks worth of video content. You, No one wants to watch me for six weeks, period. Um, but yeah, true, we got a true from the crowd. Am I right? Yeah! <laughs> no one wants to watch me for six weeks. But it'll probably take you about six weeks to go through it because I give homework at the end of each lesson. It's 26 lessons. But we are going through all the things to get your Bronco running and driving better. I uh, can't pull up the list of stuff right now. But, I mean, it is, uh, we're talking about oil, gas, coolant, uh, power steering, uh, brakes, tires. I go through steering in detail. And I'm not kidding you, I've got my steering dialed in. Uh, going on the tail of the dragon, it handled beautifully. I was one-handing it around those corners, and I've got 35-inch tires with a two-and-a-half-inch lift and a one-inch body lift, 
and it was beautiful and anthony was driving behind me and he was like dude your bronco doesn't even lean like roll around the corners like it is holding strong so uh definitely those steering videos are worth the the price of admission right there but think about it 26 videos for a hundred dollars that's four dollars a video you want to just buy a couple cups of coffee instead no that's not getting your Bronco running and driving. I am. Well, actually, I'm not doing the work. You're doing the work. I'm just telling you what to do. So I'm not. Act, I'm not going to do anything for you. But all right, enough talk. Bronco, betterbronco.com. Go there. Come on. Let's look at this beauty. This is. I. I. I think this is my favorite truck here. Thank you. It is. It is beautiful. Thank What's you. your name? John Morgan. John Morgan. And what is the name of this beauty? This is a 1970. Florida Game Freshwater Fish Commission pork truck. Ah, oh, beautiful. I mean, look at just the paint, the, the everything about it. Okay, you gotta tell us, but first, I posted this on Instagram and everyone's been asking, I mean, is it original? Is it a, is it a uh, actual Florida Game Commission? This is an original Florida Game Freshwater Fish Commission truck. Incredible. All right, tell me the story. What, okay. What's the story? So we've had this truck uh, five or six years and it's gone through some transformations here and there. It originally drove on the dragon's tail in stock form on the original 28 inch co-op tires uh, just as we picked it up. Didn't change anything. No bushings, no steering correction, nothing. It was horrible. <laughs> it was scary. It was scary. Uh, so we we cleaned it up. This is all original. This has never been restored. It's, it's yeah. just been cleaned up. This truck has never had rust. It's just been used. It's put together with all Bronco Super Celebration used parts we've collected <laughs> over the past couple years. So we decided before we bring it back to the Dragon's Tail and go for a horrific ride again. Yep. This year, it has all James Duff suspension under it. Nice. Soft ride springs, T-Rex arms, dual shock hoops, dual shocks, and some fresh tires. And this thing handles great. Uh, Thank awesome. you, Michael. Yeah, that is awesome. Man, so uh, when did you finish it? Uh, three nights before it got here. <laughs> so asking what adventures uh, you've been in it, there isn't many, but there is one, now, right? Oh, th oh, there is one. There is one. The gentleman you just interviewed, Rob Matthews, he lives about 100 miles from me. And you know, Rob brings these Broncos that have tents on top and little tiny trucks running around and he climbs on tires. He does all this stuff. And you can't get anybody to look at your stuff because Rob's got everybody <laughs> looking at his stuff. That is so, true. Patches does steal the show he and all does. of his Broncos. Yeah. So Rob has been on me for several years to bring that Bronco back to the show. And I, I declined every year. We, and we would bring beautiful Broncos, done Broncos. So we decided we're going to get Rob this year. And we kept this a secret. We could not post on Classic, on Bronco drivers, uh, early Bronco drivers. We couldn't post on anything what we were doing until we pulled it out of the trailer and pulled up to Rob's place with the siren and the beacon going oh. and watched Rob fall all over himself. That is awesome. There, there's nothing better than, you know, showing up another Bronco brother. And, you know, it's like there is like this camaraderie that comes when you have shoved someone else's face in the ground and just uh, rubbed it in into the ground. Am I right? You are correct. Yeah. See, it's, it is so true. This is the other half of Morganville Bronco Rehab. Danielle puts up with midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 5 a.m. regularly. It helps with all these trucks. Oh man. How many, how many Bronco wives do we have around here? Let me hear a shout. Oh, that was his cue. That was that was for the free shirt right there. How many Bronco wives do we have? I dude, you want Can't a free shirt? Okay. Got... Yeah! There it is. There it is. All right. No, seriously though, Bronco wives, you guys put up with so much. I am not kidding. So much craziness, and you lose so much money. And one and one third of our family income. 
Yeah. <laughs> and one third? One That's third. it? No, you're cheap. I'm, 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 uh, I'm being, I'm being easy. Being yeah, easy. yeah, man. Well, this is this is beautiful. Anything else? I mean, it it's it's all still factory. It's got a V8. The only change that's been done is a four barrel uh, factory exhaust. Three speed moved to the floor. Uh, it's beautiful on the inside still for being a work truck. Bench seat, uh, a floor shifter. Nothing special. You can see the dash is really not that special. And that's awesome and everything works the siren the siren the beacon i love it i love the siren ah! oh man that was perfect man thank you so much thank you for bringing us out i appreciate it and we all appreciate you also we appreciate you bringing some attention to our Bronco group, our Bronco crowd, our Bronco love, our problems with Broncos. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what I really want you to do? I think I want you to do a special section on putting door seals in that are easy to shut the door. Well, Can you help us with I that? I don't think those exist. Uh, uh, <laughs> no vendor has made them yet. No, they sure don't. And this one got new seals three nights ago and we can't shut the doors. Yeah, I actually, on the way down here, uh, broke my door latch from slamming the door <laughs> because the door. you're trying to shut it because I'm driving on the freeway and all I hear is this because <laughs> all the wind blowing in because the door is not shut all the way. Yes, I know. I hear you. Well, thank you very much for having us. Thank you, man. Thank you for being here. Uh, you know, he was talking about ClassicBroncos.com. He was talking about the Facebook groups. If you guys are watching this and you are not signed up on ClassicBroncos.com, you have definitely got to sign up. Uh, if you haven't joined some of these Facebook groups, there's some with like 14,000 people. Like, you need to, uh, you need to join uh, some of these Facebook groups. And uh, if you have not yet, if you've watched this far and you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, you definitely need to subscribe because tomorrow we're doing another YouTube Live right here in front of the Nashville Early Bronco Tent with five other Broncos. Uh, and all of the fun and excitement, maybe even I'll get Eric from Max Lighter to come out and talk uh, because he loves to talk. Uh, we all know that. <laughs> uh, but man, thank you guys so much. Now, ah, oh, is that it? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Before we go, uh, do not turn this off. I have a very, very special Bronco that is on its way over here. But before we go, I need to give some shirts out. What did I say? Uh, if you, whoa, hey, oh. If you, uh, I, I'm giving a shirt out to the person who was the most excited during the Super Celebration Live. And we all know who this is going to be. Am I right? Yeah! That's right. That's right. Come over here, big country. What's your name? My name's Nick Mays. Nick Mays. How long have you been growing that beard, Nick? For about six months. <laughs> Shut year. your mouth. Year. Six months? Two a year. This is six months. Seriously. What? Yeah. I just keep it maintained. Yeah, you, you do. You, you do a fantastic job of keeping it maintained. What size shirt are you, my friend? Two? Uh, we, we won't we won't share that on, on YouTube Live. That's, that's, uh, that's uh, inappropriate shirt sizes. All right. Well, you got yourself a shirt. And uh, what else here? Who subscribed? Who subscribed to the channel? Did anyone subscribe yet? Any of the new people? Let's see this. You can't get service. Uh, holy, Nick May subscribed. He already won a short a shirt. All right. I got two people who have subscribed. Is Obi One Baloney here? <laughs> Obi One Baloney. No? All right, we're going down. TS Edits. TS Edits? Oh! Well, whoa! Oh. You hear that? That is the sound of this. Nick, I'll get you a shirt in a second. All right. That is the sound of the Rockstar Bronco right here 
at, J at <laughs> Bronco Super <laughs> Celebration. They fell down. They're not in order. Yeah. This thing is a beautiful uh, Bronco that was built in 2014 by Rockstar Garage. And this is uh, as custom as you can get. Rockstar Garage built this thing. And uh, it still has a Bronco stance, but really, there's nothing real Bronco about it, except for maybe the frame and some of the body panels. But uh, uh, our good friends over at Wild Horses 4x4 worked on the steering and uh, worked on getting the steering components over to Rockstar Garage. And this was built especially for heat shield products. And this is in a, a beautiful, beautiful Bronco. I mean, if you just look in there, there are so many parts and I had a whole note card to talk about what all those parts were and I can't find it right now. Um, it's the end of the, the uh, live video here, but um, you can look under there. I mean, there's a lot of money in this Bronco and it is beautiful. It looks great. It has so much power and uh, I have a little secret that I need to share with you guys. Here, can I share a secret? There's a, there's a secret. <laughs> uh, the, this Bronco is actually for sale. <laughs> it is for sale right here at Bronco Super Celebration. Atlas II transfer case, Neato gears, 4R70W Detroit -like lockers, Wild Horses steering package. This thing is incredible. Uh, walk around it some more, James. Get some more footage. Everybody give it up for James, the cameraman. And then we got Ike over there. He's operating a camera with headphones on. I don't know if you've ever tried that one, but that's a tricky, that's a, yeah, I know, that's a hard one. But uh, as you guys are looking at this beautiful Rockstar Garage Bronco, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, we will be doing another live YouTube live with a whole new set of Broncos. And I want to talk to you guys. Maybe Nick will win some more shirts because he seems to be the only one with some passion. Am I right, Nick? Yeah! Love Nick. We need more Nicks. More Nick Mazes. There, if, if you're out there, you need to come to Bronco Celebration tomorrow. Bronco Super Celebration. Hey, if you are at the Bronco Super Celebration and you're watching this and you've bought a shirt, you have a chance to win a free hat and a sticker tomorrow if you post a picture with your shirt. Look at Sam over here. He's wearing the new Nashville Early Bronco shirt, available at NashvilleEarlyBronco.com. And if he posts a picture of him wearing his shirt, he gets entered into a drawing for a free hat and sticker tomorrow at 11. Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you being here. And uh, we will see you tomorrow.